to the kill count, where we tally up the victims in all our favorite horror media. I'm James A. Janice, and today we're looking at Social Media Asochist 2 On and On, a music video released in 2019. On and On is the sequel to the 2014 smash hit music video for Social Media Asochist, which took the song written and performed by Common Shiner and placed it in a world where horror icons attend high school together. These music videos were created by Zorn Gavoyage, a good friend of mine who's been editing kill counts since 2018. I did it for you, James. I did it all for you, James. Zorin's role on this channel is about to expand significantly, because this week, on Wednesday, June 2nd, we're premiering an all-new series created by him. It's called They Talk, and shows us what masked horror movie killers were really saying. Who left the poker in the fire? You're gonna ruin this. This was my grandpappy's. Hey, screamy girl, did you put the poker in the- Wait, wait, wait! Oh! He's been working on it for months now, and it's absolutely hilarious. Make sure you tune in for it. The reason I wanted to give Zorin his own show is because his video-making work is incredible incredible, as evidenced by these music videos. Social Media Asochist 2 takes place years after the original, with Jason Voorhees and his high school sweetheart Carrie White having settled down into a life of domesticity and office work. The video is set to the song On and On by Morgan Foster from his album Life Neurotica, and it's catchy as all hell. I heard life's what happens while you're regretting what you chose. Just like its predecessor, this video is packed to the gills with horror movie references. I'll point out a few of my favorites during this kill count, but Zorin's gonna be releasing a video detailing each and every one of them on his channel, Low Carb Comedy. It might not be up by time this kill count is released, cause it's a ton of work, but that's all the more reason to subscribe to his channel and catch it when it comes out. With his hormonal high school years behind him, will there be less slaughter in Jason's life? Let's find out and get to the kills. The music video begins with swish pans reorienting the viewer into this world. Whereas the first video featured similar shots of Jason getting ready for high school, now they show him tending to the duties of fatherhood. And fatherhood is messy. Look at all these toys everywhere. Not you, Rex. While Jason deals with various body fluids, his fuckhead friend Fred Krueger is still living that slasher life. And I'll count this selfie victim as our first kill just cause it's freaking Deborah Ann Wall. Like I mentioned in my kill count for her movie Escape Room, she's a D&D &D fan and has DM'd games for Zorin. Here's the proof that they're friends, motherfuckers! J-Man doesn't have time for slashing like that no mo. Not when he and Carrie have dinner parties to get ready for. They drop the baby off with Bagul, played by Zorin himself, and his twin assistants, played by Robert and Dartanian Sloan. The actual actors from Sinister 2, and the first of this video's many fun cameos. Also making a cameo here is the Michael Myers house, which I too filmed in front of for a joke in the Halloween 5 kill count. I know the frickin' Myers house. House. And that is hashtag not my Myers house. This is my Myers house. The OG, son! Gods, I was young then. Jason just can't help but miss his killy days. Dinner parties aren't the same kind of thrill. Not even when they're attended by people like that unhealthy Doug dude, a recurring character in Zorin's work. Also in attendance is my lovely fiance, Chelsea Rebecca, as Pennywise, in a costume she made by hand herself. At various points in time, the two of us have cosplayed as both versions of Pennywise together. It's always a lot of fun. <laughs> Naturally, Pennywise is here with his date the Babadook, played by Morgan Foster, the singer-songwriter of this very song. Jason's disinterest in dinner, oh and dessert, I peeped that creep show cake there, earns him a talking to from Carrie that also gives us three more kills to count. Unhealthy Doug, Pennywise, and the nun Valak, all destroyed by Carrie's telekinetic rap. I'm not counting Annabelle, since she's a doll, and Babadook was able to slide on out of there. Jason works at Reboot Co., headquartered on Belco Boulevard, where his rebooted high school school bullies continue to torment him, and hit on fine ladies like Reboot Barbara from the 1990 Night of the Living Dead, who is once again played by my lovely lady Chelsea. Freddy, who still is same old self, works here too, alongside this maniac pixie dream girl, an original character created by Zorn for this video. Freddy's into her, and Jason is too, even though he's a married man boy. Jason, get out of here! Go match cut into a meeting, man. The meeting is another excuse for Jason's cohorts to tease him, and he starts getting kaleidoscope 
Madge, just like his wife did in the original film from which she came. But it's not Jason who takes actions against these bullies. The Lakewood Slasher, from MTV's Scream series, is killed by the maniac pixie dream girl with a paper cutter blade, in a reference to Mark's kill from Friday the 13th 2. The body is rolled out of the room, signaling that once again, these bullies are fucked. Pinhead's the first to be killed, getting a pair of giant scissors in his eyes in a way that harkens back to a kill from Friday 5, when that super naked chick got killed with garden shears the same way. Next up is big boy Leatherface from the reboot, killed when his head is slammed through the wall, giving us a visual nod to the RV kill from Friday 6, Jason Lives. An intrepid kill counter tries to track the madness, but gets done in himself by Jason in a reference to Part 7's sleeping bag kill. Finally, I get to count myself on this show! You know, I still haven't forgiven Luxy for letting me walk away like that. The last baddie, Mikey Mai Mai, gets his block knocked off, and boy is the body left behind a spurty mess. YouTube ain't about all that. Much to my delight, Zorin shot all of these kills practically. The only CG involved was layering the elements together. He worked with an amazing effects team consisting of Ryan Ward, who Zorin met at Monster Palooza and who's worked on Westworld and American Horror Story, and the guys behind Infested Films, David Sherbrooke and Scott Davidson. They had a blast building and testing out all these bloody kills, and I'm sure their neighbors love them for it. MPDG tries to go in for a kiss, but a face full of blood finally reminds Jason that, hey dude, you're married to the mother of your child. How could you forget that beautiful red wedding? Or that honeymoon with my basket boy Belial and Tom Matthews? Yes, the Tom Matthews, who played Tommy Jarvis in Friday 6. He was also in those fan-made Jason shorts I covered, Never Hike Alone and Never Hike in the Snow, which were made by Vincent DeSanti, who also cameos in this music video as Richard Fenton, the killer from the Prom Night reboot. He's in the background talking to Helena Marco from the Suspiria reboot, played here by Zorin's lady, Megan Gorman. Jason flees his bloody almost mistake and hurries home, reconstructing his wedding ring finger while a Green Goblin semi maximally overdrives the speed limit. He gets home and makes overtures of apologies to Carrie, who embraces him with a smile right before his head is split in half, courtesy of a machete wielded by the maniac pixie dream girl, who is quite unhappy indeed. Carrie responds by sending a bevy of weapons and blades into the husband killer, ending MPDG before she could even get a sequel. Carrie then sticks Jason back together and bleep blops on a computer until he's resurrected as Uber Jason from Jason X. I'm still counting his head splitting as a kill though. The music video's credits play over another fun cameo. Ricky Dean Logan, who played Carlos in Freddy's Dead, forgiving his former tormentor for cutting off his ear. The two of them see Uber Jason and start making fun of him, though Logan takes the frivolity a smidge too far. Don't hit me! I'm sorry. Do not hit me! Okay, okay. Okay. The video ends with Carrie putting an end to this nonsense and voicing two thoughts that I was thinking myself. Thanks for telling my husband to cheat on me, dick. Where's our baby? Office jobs can be deadly boring, but they still need proper accounting. Let's take care of that at the numbers just as soon as we find that damn baby. Oh, oh hey, Bagul, thank you so much. I don't want to have a bunch of concerned comments. Oh, here you go, guy. Eleven people died in Social Media Asticus 2, way fewer than the first one, but things slow down as you get older, you know? The victims consisted of three women and eight men, assuming the Lakewood Slasher was a dude beneath that mask, and with a runtime of 2 minutes and 40 seconds, that left us with a kill on average every 14.55 seconds. Don't pee on me. I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Jason, even though he does come back to life in the end. That effect, done practically, is absolutely fantastic. A whole Dexter-ass kill room had to be constructed in order to film it thanks to all the spraying blood. Good effin' work, Zorin. Doll machete for lamest kill will go to the dinner party guests. Killed off screen and not even a reference to anything. And that's it. Social Media Asicus 2, on and on, came out in 2019 on Zorin's YouTube channel, Low Carb Comedy. Reminder that his very own series, They Talk, premieres in just a few days on Dead Meat. Make sure to check this channel on Wednesday in case you don't get a notification for it. Until next time, I'm James A. Janice. This has been The Kill Count. For the next Kill Count. Just when you thought we were done with zombies. <laughs> we're putting them on a motherfucking train! <laughs> train to Busan is a South Korean spin on the living dead, with zombies who would run laps around the Romero's heads. That, or just roll over them in a zombie ball. But just because they're fast doesn't mean this movie's brainless. Romero would be proud of the social commentary here. 
on work culture, on class divide, on corporate greed. It's got it all. Along with kick-ass zombies and fantastic performances. We got to win! This week, watch what may be the best zombie film of the 21st century so far. And this Friday, watch The Kill Count on Dead Meat. Train to Busan can currently be watched on the pictured streaming platforms. Demi always recommends you watch the movie for yourself before it's Kill Count. It's the only way to have your own properly informed opinion. Kill Counts are never meant to replace the experience of watching a film. Hey, thanks a lot for watching this Kill Count on Social Media Ask Us 2 made by this guy. So I did that. I did the thing that you, you that. watched. Yeah. Yeah. Hope you liked it. I did. <laughs> Me too. I hope they do though. It's got another series coming out. Why am I here? I should be editing. You guys want to know how tall Zorin is? Stand oh yeah, let me stand up. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> but you know, to make James more comfortable. Yeah, thank you. Don't be surprised when you meet James in real life and you're like, oh. No, I'm an average person. Don't be surprised when you meet Zorn in real life and you have to crank your neck up. Why don't, you, why don't you thank some Patreons or something? I don't have any patrons to thank. I'm thanking you for making this awesome music video. Now I'm not, I'm rescinding it. Fuck you, be good people. <laughs> <God damn it. laughs>